Hello viewers, welcome to Senior College Mathematics. In this series of teachings, we have College Trigonometry. Lesson 2, angles between 0 degrees and 360 degrees. In a complete circle of 360 degrees, there are four quadrants. The first quadrant, all the basic ratios are positive. In the second quadrant, only sign is positive. In the third quadrant, only tangent is positive. And in the fourth quadrant, only cosine is positive. You simply use the word at to simply remember the four quadrants. When you are going in clockwise direction, that is from left to right, after the first quadrant, you have the fourth quadrant, you have the third quadrant, and the second quadrant using the word at a c t s so let's consider the first quadrant in this quadrant the angle the acute angle is between zero degrees and 90 degrees here also both axes are positive the hypotenuse is of unit one so in the first quadrant sine 90 degrees minus theta is equal to cos theta cos 90 degrees minus theta is equal to sine theta and tan 90 degrees minus theta is equal to cot theta remember if here is theta here is 90 this remaining place becomes 90 degrees minus theta so this angle is where we are getting this value from Next is the second quadrant where the value of the acute angle is between 90 degrees and 180 degrees. The hypotenuse is always of unit 1. So this is the structure of the second quadrant from the circle displayed previously in the second quadrant the y axis is positive and the s axis is negative now from here to here is 90 from here to here is 90 if you extend it beyond 90 now this remaining place now angles on a straight line their sum is 180 so if from here to this place is theta the remaining angle becomes 180 degrees minus theta so the resulting right angled triangle has negative s as adjacent and positive y as opposite it follows that sine 180 degrees minus theta is simply equal to sine theta. So the opposite is y and the hypotenuse is 1. Then cos 180 degrees minus theta is simply equal to minus cos theta and tan 180 degrees minus theta is simply equal to minus tan theta remember i said earlier 
that in the second quadrant only the sine is positive you can see that cosine and tangent are negative simply because of this negative adjacent we have the third quadrant that is between 180 degrees and 270 degrees you have the diagram hypotenuse is always unit one in the third quadrant s the s axis is negative and the y axis is also negative now we have the whole of this angle now from here to here is theta that is angle on a straight line so if from here to here now is 180 from here to here is 180 and this whole angle is theta that is the meaning so this remaining part becomes theta minus 180 degrees it follows that tan theta minus 180 degrees is simply equal to tan theta so from this diagram minus y is the opposite then over minus s which is the adjacent if you divide a negative number by a negative number you have a positive result followed by sine theta minus 180 degrees is equal to minus sine theta and cos theta minus 180 degrees is equal to minus cos theta we have another approach to the information in the third quadrant in this second approach this angle here is 180 degrees angle on a straight line this remaining part is theta if you are moving from here to this part so the whole of this angle become the addition of the two angles that is 180 degrees plus theta if you do it in this form you have sine 180 degrees plus theta is equal to minus sine theta then cos 180 degrees plus theta is equal to minus cos theta and tan 180 degrees plus theta is equal to tan theta noting that in the third quadrant only tangent is positive and it is so because if you are taking this angle now here is opposite over adjacent if you divide a negative number by a negative number you have a positive result that is why tangent is positive lastly here we have the fourth quadrant that is between 270 degrees and 360 degrees you have the whole of this as theta and everything here is 360 degrees if from here to this point is theta this remaining part becomes 360 degrees minus theta here the y axis is negative and the s axis is positive with the hypotenuse always one unit the right angled triangle formed has negative y opposite side and positive s adjacent side hence 
we have it at cos 3, 6, 0 degrees minus theta is also equal to cos theta. That is adjacent over hypotenuse. And you have a positive result. Sine 3, 6, 0 degrees minus theta is the same as minus sine theta and tan 3 6 0 degrees minus theta is also equal to minus tan theta you have this result from the fourth quadrant trigonometry of angles greater than 360 degrees we divide the given angle by 360 degrees and the remainder is to be treated according to the quadrant it fits into or in multiples of 360 degrees if this is the case we therefore have that this is equal to this and is equal to sine theta you have the next result and the other result for example if you are asked to evaluate tan 765 degrees you can do this in two ways you express 765 degrees in multiples of 360 or you divide it by 360 in this place we have 360 twice and remainder of 45 degrees that is what you have here so here we are not interested in 45 degrees so this angle is simply the same as tan 45 degrees if you decide to share this value and this value from your calculator you are going to have the same result that is the meaning so let's consider trigonometry of negative angles that is minus theta they are treated by adding 360 degrees so that you can convert them to positive angles we have inverse or arc trigonometric ratios so we have the trig ratios and their inverse for sine theta the inverse is written in this form or arc sine theta for cos theta this is the inverse and it is the same as arc cos theta and for tan theta this is the inverse or arc tan theta so anywhere you see the trig ratio to the power of minus one it means inverse or if you see arc before the trig ratio it also means inverse of that ratio end of lesson two thanks for watching and learning don't forget watch out for more from the voice of peter Kos. lastly if you are not saved your life is in crisis to avoid that give your life to the lord jesus christ and confess him as your lord and personal savior every day of your life if you are saved already congratulations live righteously and be prepared because on the last day some will be taken and some will be left take good care of yourself stay out of trouble study your boost do the needful at all times flee every appearance of evil don't defraud others to make money use your hands and your brain to work genuinely and legally and the lord will bless you goodbye and stay tuned